Hey, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Sarah, and today we'll be playing with a bottle of Kiri Same from Pilot's Ido Shizuku line of inks. Let's start by doing chromatography. I'll use Bardovation chromatography paper strips cut to approximately 2 inches. I first heard of these through Inksplat, or Amanda B, and I liked her idea of cutting them up into shorter strips. I drew a line on the strip with the ink and a glass dip pen. Then, I used tweezers to hold the strip in the water and let the ink run up the paper for approximately a minute. It was interesting to watch those different bands of color appear. At first, I only saw the gray and pink bands. Let's let this dry and revisit it after this next section. These three boxes are test boxes for demonstrating the effects of water, alcohol, and bleach on ink. I don't know how the liquids will react to the ink, so I'll test how they sit on top when left to dry and use a brush over them. These experiments will be for artistic purposes, rather than resistance testing. I'm first drawing a zigzag line with my glass dip pen to simulate a lighter ink application. Then I take my 6mm Pilot Parallel to make a medium application. For the heavy application, I use a paintbrush. I want to apologize in advance for the second half of this section. I did rush through it, so I'll make time for each liquid to dry on the ink in future ink videos. I think the results will end up better that way. As you can see, I'm taking an eyedropper and dripping dots of each liquid onto the tops of the dried ink applications, then smearing over the bottom with an empty water brush. Let's go over the results. As suspected, water mostly reactivated the ink. The droplet on the zigzag line made with a glass dip pen hardly moved the ink, but you can see a hint of a pink halo. The smear with a brush did move the ink around, but it also could have been residual reactivated ink from the heavier applications. In the medium application, made with a 6mm Pilot Parallel, the ink stayed in the water droplet and didn't move around. It did smear along with some ink from the stamp below it, causing a bloom effect. In the heaviest application, some alcohol mixed in, and the ink bloomed around the edges. That was an unexpected effect, but I like it and want to try it in an art piece sometime. The alcohol applications virtually didn't react to the ink at all. I was very surprised by this. The only evidence of a reaction is this light pink spread up here. So the alcohol spread some, but it didn't seem to move the ink until it accidentally mixed with the water test box. Again, I'll have to try mixing water and alcohol in use with fountain pen ink in an art piece sometime. I had never considered using bleach on fountain pen ink before until I found through a fine art tips video that using bleach and ink makes for some cool art. I expected the ink to lift with the mixture of one-third bleach concentrate and two-thirds water. 
It lifted the pink and gray out of the ink, except for this aged yellow color. Initially, I was only expecting pink and gray from the chromatography. I thought a band of purple might even show up, so I was surprised by this yellow. But this makes me feel even more confident in my pen choices for this ink. Before we ink the pens, let's paint a portrait and look at how this ink performs on other papers. It might be hard to identify the yellow in this ink. On the white papers, Rhodia and Coloring, the warmth of the ink is more noticeable. On the off-white papers, Tomoe River and Cosmo Air Light, Kirisame reads as a cool-toned ink. Let's look at this ink in a few pens. I've picked three, one fine nib and two broads. I wanted to choose pens that would pair well with this ink aesthetically, since I have little experience with pen, ink, and paper performance. Time for the writing sample. I plan to use my glass dip pen to do the writing sample, but I accidentally broke the tip off of my dip pen. <laughs> Rest in pieces. We'll have to do the sample with my brass sport, but this can serve as a preview for the next pen video. The ink went down a lovely warm gray with pink undertones. It behaved well in the select pens, and any dryness is more likely due to the nib than the ink. There is some shading, and the ink might veer toward illegible in a finer nib. Overall, I liked this ink when writing, though it may not be for everyone. The final test. Making art. This ink inspired me, and I got to try a few new things making art with it. I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the process as much as I did. Initially, I bought this ink because it mimics pencil lead in color. I wanted an ink that would look similar to the 2B lead I use in my pencils for a drawing journal project I have yet to start. After learning a translation of Kirisame, I couldn't stop thinking about a misty rain in the mountains. Despite many sunny and beautiful trips to New Mexico and its mountains, I could never definitively call myself a beach or a mountain person. Then I witnessed the Canadian Rockies. I visited Alberta in 2015 to meet someone I had met in a little game called World of Warcraft. Regrettably, I didn't get to do nearly as much as I would have liked when I was there, but we did go to Banff and the mountains took my breath away. It never seemed to stop misting. And the sky cast in a gray not too dissimilar to the one I've painted here. I went home a week later with a growing love for the mountains. A couple of years later, I looked out a backseat window in awe at another set of misty mountains in Tennessee. Everyone else appeared asleep as another passenger and I shared a quiet conversation. I don't remember the conversation, but I've never forgotten that moment. I've heard that being in the mountains can make you feel small, but those points of perspective where your cosmos narrows down to just you and maybe a select view feel expansive. Those two small moments in time still feel so enormous to me. Since I've never made art using fountain pen ink before, I can only say I enjoy using Kirisame to make this art piece. I achieved gradation of the ink that conveys the cool and warm tones, but I couldn't get the pink to show up as much as I would have liked. But I look forward to using this ink again in my art and trying more techniques. Before we put a pen in this conversation, which do you prefer? The mountains or the beach? Or perhaps something else entirely? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.